Here's the first game I ever made. Now, why the first game I ever made is looks like this and looks way more professional than my last game, um, The Adventure of Bob Punch, it's not. Bienvenido a loco loco loco, divertete con este juego fabuloso. Yeah, I used to speak Spanish like six years ago. I still speak it, but I speak more English and German because I now I am German. Welcome to Loco Codes Oh yeah, I forgot to translate. It pretty much says, Welcome to the game and be crazy. I think what I should have said is, Welcome to Hold Right the Game. And yeah, there's a reason why I did the adventure of Bob Sponge before this game. And it's because, well, my first game is obviously going to be more boring, but this one is pretty much just Hold Right Simulator, and honestly, that's kind of in many ways just worse than I'm not professional haha but uh, actually fun this is pretty much just holding right and hoping your character jumps well because the in Splatter there's like this engines and then what they basically mean is that you can do a game differently and the previous game, The Adventure of Bob Sponge, was made with the physics engine, which lets you do a whole lot of things. And for my game, first game ever, I chose the platform engine because obviously I wanted to make a game like Mario, and... Man, the physics of this game are awful. Like, they are even worse than Project Masses. And Project Masses says... The physics that Project Masses has are... Still bad, but not as bad as this as this physics. Like this is really this ones are really bad. Like most of the time, it's RNG whether your character jumps well or not. Oh, here, here's a hard jump, mainly because of the physics and nothing else. I'm lagging so much. Why does this? I'm asking myself why does why the heck does this one lag more than the other one? Is it less optimized? Because I would think otherwise. And fun fact, the oh, the previous game was made in 2015, and this game is made was made in June 25th, 2014. So this is like a year prior. And I remember that I was I used this website for like two years, maybe three. I think it was like from 2013 or, or 2014 till 2016. For some reason, I was also what? What is this? What is this thing doing here? Why did I never fix it? And for some reason, I never. I I was late to the golden age of Splatter, aka 2010 till 2013. Many people call that the golden age of Splatter, mainly because damn it, I'm so bad at this jump. Many people call it that the golden age because that was when Splatter was the most active. I'm not sure how active it was when I joined. I certainly know that there were already some people, but I don't know how many people. Yeah, but yeah, I stayed for like two years and I was still playing a ton of games from other people. Was playing my own, of course. And actually, um, collectively I got like oof, collectively I got like. 204 views in all of my games combined, which is pretty insane for like my first ever attempt at the creation of any kind of content because this is technically still content, it's just playable. And now I'm doing YouTube and games and music and art and so much more things that I would have never thought of doing. This game, for some reason, gets really hard at, at the level 3. It feels like FNAF, and the sort of thing that suddenly in night 3, it's everything is like 1000 times more hard. The same feels... I feel I feel like this. it's the same with this game. Like, level 3 is just way harder than any of the other levels for no reason. Mainly because you get stuck in in a lot of things. Na -da -da -da, this will eventually get cut out. Wow, 
I've done 29 games and I've gotten 17 friends. That hasn't held up to anymore.